Good afternoon, Yanni Matson with Vortex Advantage Ag here with you at the uh, inside the Vortex Advantage Ag trailer, the spray rig. We posted a video about a month ago um, giving you guys a tour of our rig um, and we've had a tremendous response, a lot of views. Uh, people have reached out from all over the country, a couple people, and commented and um, it's very fulfilling to see that other people are appreciating what we're doing so thank you to all with your uh, kind comments and feedback as well um, you know we're this is an evolving process building out a system that will work really well in the field um, we're just getting started with our first spray season here coming up in January and you know having the experience and getting out in the field will only further cause us to make other revisions to the trailer but I think we've got a pretty good setup here and uh, based on everyone's comments I think you guys are you all are agreeing so um, we have done some changes that have made the trailer more efficient over the last few weeks and I'd like to take you through and show you each of those changes one by one so stay tuned and thank you for uh, all your support and for the views we've had I think close to a thousand views in a month which is great and again people have been calling me and uh, I guess I got my cell phone number somewhere on there, which is great. Call me, you know, let's talk about it. But let me start with the tour. Okay, the first update is the uh, the tow vehicle. We, uh, we had a half-ton truck, obviously, with this big trailer. That wasn't going to pull it. It's not that we bought the half-ton truck to pull the trailer with, but we had already had a brand-new uh, Chevy Silverado Trail Boss four-wheel drive, and... Uh, that just wasn't going to cut it. So we upgraded to a 6.7 liter turbo diesel Ford F-350 with the flatbed um, dually. And it is four-wheel drive. So this is awesome. I mean, this thing just pulls this 24-foot trailer, even when it's heavy, like nothing, man. I don't think I'll ever buy another tow vehicle for this type of application other than a dually. It just really keeps the sway under control. So, and we've also got a reserve 75 gallon diesel tank on the back. So we've got crazy range with this thing. Um, we did go away from one single large generator and went to two of these Westinghouse 20, uh, 12,500 watt generators. Um, we have the other one inbound. It should be here this week. And I'll basically put one here and, and one here and whether i'm running one drone i only need one generator if i'm running two i'll run two generators but rather than having one big 28,000 watt generator which is what i have i still have that i'm going to use that for my home backup generator anyway so it wasn't a waste but you can pick these up for about 900 bucks um, each so 1800 bucks for two generators versus one 28,000 watt generator that was like $3,700 and I think I'm guessing why the price of those is so much higher is maybe because people are using them for home uh, whole home generators and backup generators and I think they're competing with you know some of the other kind of standby generators on the market anyway so stoked on that um, I don't know if I showed you guys the um, electrical connection for the 50 amp so I've got two 15 foot cords that go directly from that 50 amp down right here. Had an electrician come and wire these up. You can get these on Amazon. They're about 170 bucks. Nice waterproof box and it just snaps shut like that. I've got heavy duty wire coming down here and then under and in side the trailer uh, up to some panels I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then when I'm home, I run this cord over to my outlet and I can run 110. I can slow trickle charge the T40 batteries if I want to, which is really nice. Um, and I got a wireless backup camera here. I know that's kind of wasn't really it's kind of off topic as far as drones go, but these flatbeds are a son of a gun to back up if you don't kind of have a backup camera on them. So that was a nice little addition. The second thing we upgraded was I put a um, a deck up top. So Alcom is the A L C O M is the name of the the brand that makes this all aluminum frame trailer. That's Bogey. He's the OG. What's up, Bogey? What's up, buddy? Huh? Um, we put a eight and a half foot, which is the width of the trailer, by ten foot deck up top. 
you can see here I'm not going to go up top but um, well actually I will I'll go up the ladder but it's there's these uh, three cross members here one two and three and it provides enough support up there uh, all aluminum construction with a really heavy duty ladder to get up I'll go ahead and take you up there real quick and I'm 200 230 pounds so for me being able to get up here and get tall so I can see above corn and um, rolling terrain this will be great up here this will hold two people we're going to put uh, uh, some chairs, some nice comfortable camp chairs, have two pilots up here and uh, a nice big umbrella as well with a table and uh, we'll be all set with that. So great addition here. I think this is a, a necessity as far as drone trailers go. It seems like everybody up in the Midwest has got their rigs built out with two stories. So just so happens that Alcom makes a contractor ladder rack system and I just kind of customized it to fit my needs. Okay, so here are the two 15-foot um, power cords that go from the trailer, I'm sorry, from the bed of the truck, the generator, to the front nose of the trailer where it plugs in. And then those are powered up to these two 50-amp panels right here. So each 50-amp panel runs a T40 charger in the middle here, which then has two associated um, air cooling stations for the battery or charging stations so i've i've labeled all of my batteries for each drone so that i can keep track of how many hours through the app the dji app how many hours the drone has flown will tell me how many you know how many hours i've put on this or at least the time on the battery i think that's kind of a i don't know it'll be we'll see so i've got another one here notice i built up a little bit of a deck i put uh built a box out of two by eight material and that two by eight material just elevates the uh, charging station so you don't have to bend over as far like I'm 6'3 and all I have to do is just kind of barely bend over and I can slide these in and out really easily and uh, I've got them all secured both to the ground here and the bottom bar of the charging station right here so they're sturdy I mean, they're not going anywhere. And then I've got the T40 battery strapped in real good as well. So that's the update as far as the power goes. I did uh, install a converter here. And this converter converts AC power to DC. The pump we run for our filling of the drones, agitation, filling of the batch tanks and all that is a 12 volt pump. So we needed to convert that. And I, this is the way I went about doing it. So also got one of these really nifty uh, remote key fob outlets. So basically I have uh, the pump, uh, the 12 volt pump comes right into here. And then I have this plugged into this device. And then I have a key fob out in the back of the trailer when I'm filling that I can just push the button and this the pump will come on and off based on that key fob push. Kind of cool not having to have your pump working hard for you when you when it doesn't need to be so if you haven't seen one of the other videos we have this uh viewing station right here that basically i have a, a a stool under here that you can pull out and adjust downward and be able to sit two people here looking out it's my neighbor's house but on lower fields like you know wheat or soybean or whatever you can utilize it in here and we also have the air conditioner roof air yet to be seen how that's gonna you know affect our work but it's nice to have there just in case and then we've got our uh kind of setup over here i'm charging one of the t40 chargers right now that i used uh, the other day and then i've got my backup uh tanks here i've got the spreader tank for one of the t40s the other one is on the one of the t40s i have and this is the liquid tank uh for the other t40 down here i've got all kinds of extra stuff oil um got a hundred foot hose for transferring water from like a water buffalo or a large tank out on a field and then i've got my transfer pump down here as well a little honda transfer pump that'll pump about 195 gallons a minute and i've got all the banjo cam lock fittings on that to make it quick. I do have an extra, I labeled everything really well. 
I've got an extra mini bulk pump, the CT6 um, flow serve, I think it is. CT6 mini bulk pump, I have that in here. And I can also utilize this backup for transferring chemical. If I get on a really big job and they, they dump like a, a larger um, tank of chemical, I can use this pump in here to transfer that chemical into, you know, either measuring jugs or, you know, into the batch tank so I can make that more efficient. Uh, I've got this little backup Honda generator here as well that I carry that around it's nice because if I'm not if I don't need the big generators and I just need some 110 out in the field that's nice to have and it those things will run all day on like a gallon of gas so kind of coming back in here um, again the drone garage right here I've got one T40 with the liquid tank up top and then I've got one down here with this uh, granular spreader in it so um, one of the big improvements we did to this system was, uh, you know, before we had actually had three quarter inch uh, tubing coming, you know, from these large fresh, these are freshwater doorway tanks. They're 400 gallons. Uh, you know, there's no need to go from inch and a half or two inch, I think this is inch and a half, down to, you know, three quarters and then you know th three quarters all the way through here and then go back to one inch at the tube that comes down to the hose reel right here so what we did is we uh, replaced all these 90 degree elbows with one inch fittings it was very quick and easy to do and then put one inch hose basically so when i go to fill from these two back uh solid freshwater tanks 800 gallons total um when i go to fill these 85 gallon batch tanks right here, I've got two of them, they, it feels a lot faster. I mean, I'd say like 30 or 40% faster, 30% I guess would be more realistic, but um, that's a nice little addition right there. There we've got our, our CT6 pump down in there. You can see um, we've got a strainer right here. I am gonna put a backflow check valve right there. I got it in hand, I just gotta install it. And that will be, this pump as I understand it does provide some backflow um protection but just in case i'm gonna put one right here because it's super easy to do and banjo makes one uh, that's two inch and i'll just have one inch uh go down to inch and a half inch and a half i think it is on both sides to meet this one quick other ad we did was this is our freshwater hose right here um i had a 25 foot hose on there before and I upgraded this to a 50 foot because the 25 foot basically only gets you just shortly beyond the back of the trailer. And when you're flying the drones and landing them, you know, and at the end of the day, if you want to hose off the out exterior of the drone, it's nice to have that extra uh, space because you don't land the drone super close to the trailer. So that was a nice thing we did. Here's the key fob on the trailer. I was telling you, I mean, I'm sorry, on the, uh, um, gen the, uh, pump so out when i'm filling the drones i just have this hooked around my belt loop and rock and roll turn it on and off right there and then i've got both my generator remotes on and off right there i do have the um the uh, uh cam lock fitting on the quick fill so this is two inch right here and i can fill one of these tanks with a fire hydrant within like four minutes it's really fast I haven't done it yet but i know that's i know that to be the case based on the flow rate I did pick up one of these uh, master meter. This is a fire hydrant pump. So my local city, um, it's about $160 minimum a month, but I can basically spin that bad boy on this end onto the hydrant. I've got a hydrant wrench as well. And uh, this end goes to that blue hose I had up in the crate. And now I have a hundred feet, so I can basically just pull the trailer up to a hydrant in my city and this thing has a meter on it right here and you can basically just uh, pump your own water into filling the tanks. It's about $8 for a thousand gallons, which is a great deal. And uh, you know, it provides good kind of potable water that, that, uh, that we don't have to worry about it being too crazy or too full of iron. I'm on a, a well, so not the, not the best. Regarding these two 85 gallon batch tanks, um, I did have the chem blades installed. Uh, so you can see down in here, 
We've got the chem blade. Um, this spinner right here basically will help you triple rinse, but it also serves to agitate when you have the, when I have my agitation valve on, when the cover's on, or if I'm punching down a jug, I flip, I flip this nozzle, I'm sorry, this valve, and triple rinse the jug, dispose of the jug properly. Then also down there, there's uh, an eductor, I think they're called an eductor at the bottom, that when you have this valve on, it fires water at the sidewall and creates a swirling effect down there. So really great agitation. In addition to this spinning and circulating water from the very bottom of the cone, sucking it back up through the system and then back into the agitation. So it's just this constant circulation of, uh, of the product and water inside. Nice little setup there. Well, that about wraps it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the trailer. Uh, by no means is this perfect, but uh, I think we've done a good job of putting together a pretty thoughtful um, iteration, at least our first go around. I'm sure when we get out on the fields this season, which will be starting up in January here, we're at the uh, kind of end of middle of December coming up on Christmas. But uh, as the season kicks off, a lot of people will be laying down pre-emergent down here south of Fort Worth, Texas. Um, and uh, I'm sure we'll find some things, some holes in our system that need to be upgraded. And, uh, you know, we'll make those adjustments as needed. But thanks for uh, all your kind comments again for the folks that reached out um, with the last video we posted. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You know, this is a, I feel like it's the gold rush right now with this industry. Everyone's just running and gunning to get to get their market share in the area, which is awesome. I love it, um, and uh, we're we're no different. So we'll talk soon. I'll be posting videos hopefully once a week or so, and uh, once we get in the fields and start working, we'll be putting some stuff together there as well. Have a great day.